And just a brief quick update, well Savannah police have officially arrested the 19 year old that was charged with the death of 17 year old Shari Smalls that was killed on October the 27th of 2018 where he was killed on 1100 block of East 37th street where they found Shari Smalls but 17 at the time suffering from gunshot injuries. He was taken to the hospital where he later died of his injuries. Now the police actually caught the 19 year old James Nathan Johnson, AKA Juju. He was booked into the Chatham County Jail on Sunday, March the 24th on two counts of involuntary manslaughter. Now, since then he has been released on bond. So, you know, that's just the update that I just wanna provide because I did do a video on this a while back. But one thing that I didn't mention, or possibly I just didn't have the information about this at the time, but Mr. Shari Smalls was a victim of another shooting that happened in 2011. Now this shooting happened in February of 2011 and I'm reading the article as it is where it says a child was caught up in a drive-by shooting and crash at about 1 a.m. on Tuesday where he was cut up by broken glass and beat up from bouncing around in the car when it crashed. According to the child's mother, nine-year-old Shari Smalls was riding with his stepfather, 19-year-old Rashamel Coleman when someone opened fire on the car. Coleman took off but crashed into several parked cars in Yamaqua Village. Now the little boy at the time, Shari Smalls, he only suffered minor injuries. He didn't suffer any gunshot wounds. It was just pretty much glass that just was flown at him when that happened. So uh, just a little small update that I just want to provide. But I will go further on this in another video. Not necessarily a part two, but I really want to get into the situation or just really talk about how so many 17-year-olds, 16-year-olds, 15-year-olds, teenagers, toddlers gets killed in the city of Savannah by gunfire. So maybe it won't be the next video that I do on here, but I'll, I'll put that up pretty soon, man, because, you know, this isn't something that just happens randomly or happens once in a blue moon. You know, you know, kids often get killed in the city of Savannah. The most common age of a kid getting killed in Savannah is by the age of 17. But you know, how expanding that in the next video that I do but, you know, that's all for right now. Stay blessed.